What's up horror fans? We are back and we just got done watching the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre from the 1974. Um, could do a little quick review on it. It was pretty awesome. Uh, I put my mindset like it was 1974. I was a person back in 1974 and I was trying to imagine like seeing this. Uh, back then, you know, people hadn't seen anything like this, and it was pretty good. Pretty brutal. Uh, I'm not going to spoil things, but it's definitely earned its place as a classic, and one that people talk about. A lot of people, this is like one of their favorites ever, and I'd have to agree if I was around back then. Nowadays, obviously, it doesn't hold up as well. It's barely gory. Uh, there's, you know, not a lot of character development either with the characters. It kind of gets right to the point. Characters show up. They do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and one by one, they're just, you know, taken down. The cinematography is definitely low budget. <clears throat> but one thing about that is it creates atmosphere and you really feel like you're in 1974 and you are out in the middle of nowhere and it builds up it's a little wacky it's a little maniacal gets a little more wacky a little more maniacal I mean and by the end it's just pure madness uh, I think they did a wonderful job just capturing the feeling of absolute madness and just misery. There is nothing f fun about this movie. It's, it's, uh, I don't know. My brain is still hearing screaming and chainsaws. <laughs> like, it's really, really drives the point home. And uh, without a lot of gore, it is quite violent. There's like some, oh shit, kind of moments where you're like, ow, oh, that would hurt. Um, Again, don't want to spoil too much, but in case you haven't seen it, a lot of people have seen this, so I probably couldn't spoil much about it. But I thought it was great, especially considering it was low budget, 70s, and the, one of the first of its kind, and it had such an impact on people. Um, yeah, like I said, acting, definitely B-level. Script, definitely B-level. But suspense is right there there was literally parts that they scared me there were parts where i was like oh shit but then there's a lot of parts where i was kind of like well that looks silly you know it just some of the stuff doesn't hold up as well but yeah it's it was good i highly recommend it, especially if you're a horror fan you haven't seen it um not much else I can say about it, really, without giving the whole movie away. But it's pretty, pretty good. I, I put it up there. I, I definitely would put it in with the classics, like a lot of people do. I would definitely agree. There's a reason this movie took the nation by storm and it made a ton of money and scared people. So we're gonna wrap it up. Keep it under five minutes. Um, that is our quick review for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original, 1974, Toby Hooper directed. And everybody, have a good one. Look out, we'll be doing more reviews. Be doing the sequels. To, I got all the sequels I'll be doing of these. I'm going to do the first of all the classics, though. So the next one will probably be the next one that came out would be the first Halloween. So I'll be doing the first Halloween movie next. Uh, if you guys come across this video and you want to like and subscribe because you like horror, that'd be cool. Or even if you just come across this video and you want to leave a comment about what you thought about this movie, I'd love some, some online horror banter back and forth maybe. Uh, so yeah, more than welcome to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. I have to say that because of the remakes and the reboots. Alright, we'll cut it off right there about five minutes. Everybody, peace out.